Hey, Steve Zook, welcome back to Poke Suit Channel and the Guitar Ladder System. Hey, here's one of these LH-280s, and this exact one is for sale, and it really has a, has a sound. A lot of guitar for $4.99, you can buy this exact one. I barely have the volume up to uh That's a bi chord by the way. It's a combination of like a minor seven and a major nine together. Kind of got that idea from Bill Evans, the great pianist. Hey, anyway, this guitar is available. List is more. I can do it for $4.99. Does not include a case or bag. We can work something out. But this one really has a sound, as you can hear. And I, I barely... The reason I have hardly any volume, I'm trying to also capture a little bit of the acoustic quality here. It's got a really nice... I want to talk just real, a little bit today about, about the quickest way to grow as a guitar player and as a composer and artist. Even according to people like Eric Johnson and Pat Metheny, improvisational skills are the fertile soil of compositional skills. Stop thinking. I studied with Joe Pass for a while when I was 22, I'm 65 now. He used to even say, you know, you know, um, you know, simplify your thinking. It really comes down to this. It comes down to listening. I, I was reading something about Eric Johnson the other day, and he was even talking about that, you know, musical ideas are a gift from the universe or a gift from God. But you have to stop thinking and putting things in a box and trying to put everything into diatonic harmony. Um, you need to input good information into your subconscious mind, which can then assimilate it, compare and contrast. And <clears throat> the subconscious mind is very powerful and it can process and compare and contrast information on a much, much deeper level than your conscious mind. So what I'm talking about is letting go of the conscious mind, letting go of putting everything in a box. I mean, you know, learning music is not like, you know, being an engineer and putting a, an engine in an airplane, you know. No, I'm not saying that, you know, basic theory is good. You should know, you know, chord construction and, you know, you know, know how to find tonal centers and a standard and things like that. But, you know, diatonic harmony is just the tip of the iceberg. But when you do my guitar ladder studies, I'm going to expose your ear to the different systems of improvisation by you playing them. And the best advice I can give it, people, whether you're in the guitar ladder system or you're thinking about getting in, is just play the studies and stop trying to pick them apart. Stop trying to figure them out. Just, you know, just turn off your brain for a while and play the studies and listen. Uh, if you want to go through like standards and play those chord changes, that's fine. I used to put a little, little uh, like marks above, like I'd look at a chart for a standard and I'd make a little line and, and then put like, you know, the tonal center like E or whatever. I'm not saying it's not good to, to know a little bit of theory, but what I am saying is that you're going to slow yourself down tremendously if you're always trying to figure everything out. You just need to have great information. Let that, you know, my guitar ladder system will seed your subconscious mind. You just play the studies and just let it, you know, just let your subconscious mind soak it up. I mean, your subconscious mind is so powerful. Even Pat Metheny said all the interesting stuff is in the subconscious. But you need to learn about tension and resolution and improvisation. And if you want to wake up the artist within, if you want to wake up the composer within, if you want to stimulate your, your God-given musical talent, even if you have very, very little, the guitar ladder system will will bring out talent that you didn't even know you, you had. And I'm not kidding about it. I know what I'm doing, folks. I've had so many you know emails coming in from people with just tremendous results, but you need to, to kind of like, you kind of need to have a, an ego death. 
I know that probably sounds a little crazy to some of you, um, but what, you have to kind of let go and just listen and kind of fire your conscious mind. Don't keep trying to figure everything out. Like I was just doing this, right? And I don't have to stop and figure this out. And, you know, but sometimes it's good just to remember, like, you know, like Joe Pass said, simplify your thinking, you know, like if I'm, imp and it's good to improvise, sit down to your guitar once a day and just improvise for a while. Even if it doesn't sound great, don't judge it. What I'm talking about is the science of neuroplasticity, which is don't focus so much on outcome, don't put pressure on yourself, be in the here and now, listen, and your subconscious mind actually has a safe switch and an open switch. This is heavy, folks. I, the guitar ladder system isn't just about great material I've come up with over 40 years. It's about how to approach learning. It's about how to approach your God-given gifts of the conscious and subconscious mind in a way to get some extremely powerful results and move ahead faster than any other system. But like, it, it's okay to have simple thoughts, like, you know, 13 connects 13, dominant 13 to nine connects 13, connects 13 flat nine. But when you're improvising and playing, you don't want to always be thinking. Even Joe Pass used to say that, you, you know, you want to be listening and hearing, but that's where the, the practice comes in. Sure, when you're practicing, like if you're doing, if you're doing my chord cycle number one, you might be thinking major seven diminished, minor diminished, you know, minor seven sharp five, uh, minor nine, seven sharp five, etc. But but there's a time to do that, and then there's a time to let go because the interesting stuff will come through much better if you're not trying to analyze, you're not trying to force it, you're not trying to always, you know, look for a, some type of progression or look for some type of rule to attach it to. That's where the guitar ladder system comes in. You familiarize yourself with how to create color, how to create tension and resolution all up and down the neck. And then when you're improvising, you're thinking more in terms of, of color and sound and how to put that together. Like Joe Pass used to say, you know, he, he plays one chord, he hears, you know, four or five more. One of the best examples of that is something like this. He likes things that are kind of close together. See how that's nice? You can add. See? But th this is really a strong point. I mean, there's a time to practice. Sure, when you practice, you could be thinking, 13 flat 9, 4 chord, 13 flat line, flat 9, major 9, 6 of the 7 on top, augmented sounding, you know, uh, type rev, 7 sharp 9, 13, you know, when you're practicing that's fine, but when you're, you should every day improvise a little bit, and I'm not saying you can't think, but I am saying simplify your thinking, but there's a lot of people that hold themselves back. There's a lot of people that hold back their growth because they're overthinking, they're overanalyzing. That's where the guitar ladder system, is. it's so powerful, but so simple to use. You just play the studies and let these ideas, uh, you know, uh, fall into your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind is so powerful. It's gonna piece together a lot of stuff and all of a sudden you just start coming up with stuff you have no idea where it comes from. And uh, that was called the unconscious release. I talked talk to Alan Holsworth about that. We used to talk on the phone all the time. So what I'm saying is that, you know, sure, it's good to know basic core construction like major sevens, one, three, five, seven, you know, dom, et cetera. You know, and uh, I personally don't teach my students to get real heavy into modes because it confuses most people. A mode is just a major scale and they start on a different place. So the, the half steps and whole steps are in different places. If you like learning it that way, that's fine. But, you know, to me, it's more about just understanding tonal centers and understanding, uh, you know, I just try to simplify it like Joe Pass said, says. But anyway, um, the guitar ladder system is 240 studies that will teach you the 10 different systems of improvisation in a very organic fashion. You don't need to read. I'm not saying reading isn't valid. I spent a whole summer doing concert level classical, obviously had to read. I'm just saying that the guitar ladder system, what I've done is discovered a way for you to make the most prog progress possible with the, less, with, you know, with the least amount of 
You don't need any analyzation. You just play the study, soak them up, and your own subconscious mind will start spitting out ideas. And you'll be like, wow, where'd that come from, you know? So, uh, but anyway, uh, this guitar is available. Really, really has a sound, and this is the, a new LH280. One of the reasons it has a sound is because the layers of laminate are really, really thick, and those are actually like solid pieces sandwiched together, and there's also mahogany in between. So yeah, this guitar is extremely, in fact, I, I barely have the amp on, because I'm trying, I, I'm trying to let you guys hear a little bit of the, uh, uh, of the acoustic sound. Come, I can hear it right here. I'm not sure if you can hear it. But anyway, so that's my point, is quit thinking, and if you're gonna think, really simplify your thinking, but if you're thinking and putting everything in a cute little box and a category, like I've had people buy my guitar ladder system that maybe played another instrument like piano, and uh, they started analyzing my chord cycles and then getting all weird and critical, like, well, that chord shouldn't be there because that's that's not a four chord in the key of this or whatever. I'm like, I'm like, that's the whole point is you know don't analyze it, just play it, get you know, it, and and some people have sent me their music and if they're really into rules and and all that, their music sounds really, really, really stiff. You gotta let go. You gotta realize improvisation and, and art in general doesn't fit into cute little categories. And if you start start analyzing it too much, you're gonna slow down your growth. Now, I'm not saying it's not good to know some basic theory. I'm not saying it's not good to have time when you do study and, and, and have specific things that you're trying to remind yourself in, you know, learn about. I'm not saying that at all. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, when you're when you're improvising, you've got to let go, and and you don't want, you know, if you're if you're doing too much with the conscious mind, you're you're really holding yourself back. If you really want to make some progress uh, for the next year, invest the one ninety nine in the guitar ladder system. You can order at stevezookguitars.com. Again, order at stevezookguitars.com. You may need to scroll down. I'm redoing that page. If you need help ordering, I can send you an invoice. But just to be clear, I'm not, you know, it's good to know some basic theory. It's good to know how to recognize tonal centers in the standard. But I'm saying if you, even according to the science of neuroplasticity, if you, if while learning, you just stay in the here and now and don't be so outcome oriented. This is really interesting. This is a science, neuroplasticity. If you're not so outcome oriented, don't put pressure on yourself. Stay in the here and now. Your, your subconscious mind actually has an open switch and a safe switch. This is heavy, man. I've discovered the best way to approach learning guitar so you can just shave years off your progress. This isn't bullshit. I've seen it with tons of students. Shave years off your progress and reach a deeper level of playing and writing that you would never get to without it, and it's true. So I don't know what else to say, but... Spend a little time. I love that chord. That's a dominant 11, then you add, then you add the 13. That can go to the bi chord. Anyway, this exact guitar is available. It sounds beautiful. As you can hear, and I, I barely have any. Let me just for a second, so you can hear it, put a little more volume on the, on the uh, amp. Because this guitar really, but I think I captured a little of the acoustic tone just a little bit ago, so, but you can hear this. See, even some of the acoustic tone comes through. That's a great tone. And I'm just using an old solid state amp I paid 150 bucks for. This is a lot of guitar for four ninety nine. Anyway, like I said, you know, try to uh, just like even Pat Martino said, the hardest thing is trusting your direction. But there's a time to practice. There's a time where sure, you know, using your conscious mind to. Like I've used my conscious mind to come up with, with a licks like that for, for 13 flat nine. Uh, I've used my conscious mind when I'm learning a difficult lick like this. You know, uh, kind of a 
a diminished thing or a diminished sequence. I'm just saying you can't let your conscious mind dominate your your playing and your studying and especially your improvisation. You got to start thinking in terms of sound, thinking in terms of color, thinking in terms of groups of chords, and uh, and then you, you'll make you know a lot of progress. But if you really really want to take a quantum leap, I suggest you invest the the 199 in the guitar letter system and just order it. You know I'll give you a, you know eight year membership. Anyway, so four, here, let me give you a couple ideas. Four chord. Which is you know maybe with perfect force. This one's very close to a minor seven, but it's got it's got a major third on top. But anyway, four chord connects thirteen flat nine. Four chord connects thirteen flat nine major seven, seven sharp five sharp nine thirteen minor uh, seven major nine six with a seven on top. By chord. See that's fine to do. What I'm talking about is you, there's a time to practice and a time to just let go and improvise and start thinking in terms of sound, color, tension, and resolution, and groups of chords. Anyway, this is available. This really has a sound, as you can hear. It's, it has a little bit of L5 in it, you know. available 499 it really has a sound all right folks take care let's uh stay positive Ciao.